What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC video. Now I almost said Series 9, however this is technically a Series 10 video because I'm going to be speculating on what I think the Series 10 rule set is going to be and when we're going to start playing it. Now with Series 9 being a repeat of Series 7, a lot of people are sort of burnt out on that rule set. I'm not really, I do enjoy the Series 9 metagame as it does feel like Series 7 with some hindsight. But before we get into what I think Series 10 is going to be, do me a favor, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it at any point in time, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and answer my comment question of the day, what do you think Series 10 is going to be? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, if you notice that I only post one video instead of two videos a day, just know that's because I started a full-time job and I'm a little bit more busy, but I do enjoy putting out content. I love putting out content for you guys, so, uh, you know, just, you know, don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not overworking myself. I like doing it, but enough about how hard I work for you guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about it. I'm, I'm kidding, of course. Um, <clears throat> so there are three ideas I have for what Series 10 is going to be, and I'm going to go through them in the order that I think is the most likely. So number one would be a double restricted metagame, aka uh, a Dynamax GS Cup. Number two would be a top 10 banned Pokemon metagame. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> that would be my most likely one. Number two would be, we're just going to keep playing this until, you know, the game's lifetime runs out, which is possible considering how soon the next games are coming out. And the most the most likely one, I think, is just going to be a top 10 uh, most used Pokemon getting banned metagame, sort of like Series 6. But I'll get into that. Uh, I'll get into why I think that's the most likely one uh, in a minute here. We'll start off with the double restricted and why I think that might not be the case, but... Um, why I think it also has a chance to be. So to talk about double restricted, we have to talk about single restricted, which was which was series eight. So series eight was a format that we played in between series seven and nine, which is interesting because essentially um, series seven and series nine are the same format. So it's like we took a break for three months and played a, um, a restricted format. Now, we played single restricted instead of double restricted, in my opinion, because the devs wanted to try out something different from GS Cup. Um, I think maybe in their mind, they thought, hey, only using one restricted Pokemon will make it feel like a more balanced metagame, which in my opinion was completely wrong. I think double restricted was a lot more fun. There were a lot of grassroots tournaments that were using a GS Cup format rule set. Uh, before we got the single restricted announcement, which blew everyone's mind. Um, and they were they were really cool. We saw things like Eveltal Groudon, we saw like Eveltal Xerneas, we saw Eveltal Zacian, and it felt like a very balanced format, and a lot of people had fun with it. However, when, when we got that single restricted uh, metagame announcement, we were like, okay, this is interesting. And while we did think maybe it would be a little bit more balanced than double restricted, uh, in the end, it ended up feeling a lot less balanced than that because it almost felt like your entire... Your, your entire like game plan was very matchup dependent like there were certain teams that struggled very hard against other ones which is pretty normal but you notice it especially with one restricted pokemon on each team and dynamax could patch those sort of things uh but we saw zacian dominate we saw sun dominate there was a lot of things that uh were kind of annoying in that metagame in my opinion it would make sense somewhat to go to a double restricted format uh after series nine ends because it would be just another format to tack on to the end of this game's lifespan once again i think that series 10 is gonna be the final metagame because we do have a november 19th release date for brilliant diamond shining pearl um but i'm not sure if game freak would return to restricteds mainly because it almost felt like a one-off thing it felt like three months worth of restrictions it was like okay maybe they just want to be done with it i don't know if they'd be willing to return to that or if they're even planning to however a double restricted metagame would feel like a completely different thing and i think there is some chance for it but i don't see it happening at the moment uh next up i want to talk about the possibility that we're just going to continue to play this series 9 format for the rest of the game's lifespan which almost feels like the worst possible outcome in my opinion um while people did have complaints about restricted format, even single restricted, uh, I think that m people would prefer to at least change the rules, especially coming off of Series 9 being the same as Series 7 to an extent. Um, if we were to play this rule set for the remainder of, the, of this game's lifespan, it would get very repetitive, and it would be somewhat reminiscent of previous 
not national decks formats because we don't have a national decks, but previous like expanded decks formats uh, where we had a lot of time for the metagame to develop. I'm a big fan of that. There's a lot of stuff that can happen in that time. There's a lot of theory crafting that can happen in that time. The, the thing that makes me think it probably isn't going to happen as well is literally just because we haven't seen that for like almost two years now. We haven't had time for a metagame to fully development or to fully develop without a major rule shift change or rule set change. Um, so like series nine, seeing like Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Landers, Theri, and Regieleki, Rillaboom at the top, that wouldn't change obviously, but I feel like with people theory crafting for months on end, we might see like, you know, the top 20 changed for a bit. Maybe we'll see Tyranitar rise up as like Galarian Moltres usage rises as well. Cause Tyranitar is a really hard Galarian Moltres counter. It's a really hard Thunderous counter if, you know, they, if you Dynamax, you can definitely take one max knuckle. However, it isn't good against superpower. That's beyond the point. My point is if they just make us play this format until the game's life cycle ends, which isn't too far away, mind you, um, I think that that wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would allow for a lot more development to occur in general. Now, I'm going to talk about the thing that I think is most likely. I'm personally of the opinion that we are literally just going to go to a Series 6 clone. However, this Series 6 clone would be occurring with Series 9 Pokemon. Now, why do I think that? And I'm going to get in like conspiracy theory. You not really, but um, I'm going to explain like some facts and why I think those facts lead me to this conclusion. So series five was our first major DLC format. This was right after the Isle of Armor came out. And we played series five from July until the end of August, which would have been the, which would have made series five the world championships rule set. And the world championships rule set would have been like an expanded decks, right? It would have been like the, the complete 2020 decks of sword and shield Pokemon. Now, the 2021 format added a ton of new Pokemon, including legendaries, which really shifted the format. Uh, and that would have been what we'd be playing at Worlds, in my opinion. I think we're going to be playing Series 9 until literally just August. I think we're going to be playing it from now until August 31st, because that would be right after when Worlds would have happened. Obviously, Worlds didn't happen this year and last year because of the pandemic. However, they weren't aware that they were going to have to cancel Worlds for that first year of Sword and Shield's life cycle. Now, what Series 6, in my opinion, was supposed to be, given the timing, was a post-Worlds metagame literally just for fun. Because there wouldn't have been any major tournaments happening. It would have just been like locals and stuff. Um, I think that Series 6 was just going to be a for fun metagame where they banned the top 10 Pokemon until the next major DLC happened, which was in November, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was in November because Series 7 began in... Yeah, Series 7 began in November, which was the Crown Tundra DLC. Um, so because it was it was almost like going until the next game's life cycle. It was a fun little format. I think that given that we are going to be shifting over to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl in all likeliness, given that it's a very rare for a Pokemon game to have three full years with VGC. Usually it's like two years and then you switch over to the next game. I think that this is gonna be the next VGC game and we are just going to ban the top 10 Pokemon from singles and doubles in series nine for series 10 and that'll carry us into the next game. And I think that just makes the most sense because this would have been the post worlds just for fun metagame. I don't know. Uh, if we were to talk about the top 10 Pokemon going away, in series nine, I think that's something that we can just touch on real quick. That would mean no Incineroar, no Tapu Fini, no Lander Therian, no Regieleki, no Rillaboom, no Porygon 2, no Urshifu. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no Grim Snarl, no Glacier, and no Urshifu Rapid Strike. So <laughs> Spectre and Dragapult surviving is kind of funny. That's kind of big. On top of that, we would lose the single Pokemon. So if we go to Battle Stadium singles, we would lose Zapdos, Cinderace, Mimikyu, Porygon 2, Landorus, Therian, Urshfu, Tapu Fini. We would lose Dragapult and Spectre. Um, or no, and Garchomp. So that's a big amount of Pokemon that are relevant to the format that would be going away. And notice how many, notice that Landorus would go away. I know a lot of people would be very happy about that. But I think the major thing that would matter is Regieleki going away. Regieleki going away would open the door for so many more Pokemon to become viable. 
There are a lot of Pokemon that I've tried to build around that just aren't viable due to Regieleki existing. It just completely invalidates them. Uh, I, I think that Blastoise might be kind of cool. Um, Celesteela would definitely greatly appreciate that uh, that Regieleki would go away. Uh, Moltres would gain a major boon from that. I think uh, Colossal would suffer quite a bit though. Colossal losing access to Dragapult and Urshifu water is actually really huge. So Colossal usage might suffer quite a bit. And we're going to see some other, some other things just rise to the top of usage. I think uh, we're going to see a lot more stack attack, a lot more balance. Yeah, uh, the fact that Urshifu would have been banned this time around is actually kind of cool because in Series 5, Urshifu wasn't used enough to get banned, thus making it really annoying in Series 6. So I don't know. Um, I'm actually kind of a fan of this. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Series 6, mainly just because of what it ended up becoming. You know, banning those top Pokemon did end up leaving a lot of tools being just, you know, thrown into the garbage and making defensive play nearly impossible. However, I think given that we have so many more Pokemon in the complete Pokedex of Sword and Shield, I think banning the top 10 Pokemon would actually just kind of open up a fun little new experimental metagame. But let me know what you guys think about my theory in the comment section down below. Uh, this is more of just a short video because I do have to go to work tomorrow and I wanted to get my thoughts out on what I think Series 10 is going to be. So let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Leave a like, do whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.